Hey guys, Brandon Green, and right now we're going to get into the episode of David Pacman where they're discussing Fox talking about fentanyl also found in the White House. Let's get into it. Sounds interesting. I doubt it, but let's see. Now, let's go to the next element of this. Fox and Friends host Brian Kilmeade went further with the cocaine in the White House story. He went to, was there fentanyl in the cocaine? <laughs> And hilariously, Steve Ducey, who occasionally will actually behave like a normal person and apply critical thinking to what is said by his co-hosts, he just is kind of like, what the F are you talking about? Fentanyl? What, what? Check out this hilarious exchange where Brian Kilmeade introduces fentanyl with no evidence. And then Steve Ducey is like, wait, what? What are you talking about? We don't know if there's fentanyl in that cocaine, too. That's the problem. Uh, yeah. You saw that uh, Robert De Niro's grandson <laughs> just died. Uh, fentanyl was in whatever substance he wait, bought. at the White House? <laughs> fentanyl at the White House? No, so he's saying with the unknown powder. That, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> and Kil I actually think Kilmead is starting to get, get annoyed. So you can tell from the body language here, Kilmead is annoying. Annoyed. He is annoying. But... Kilmeade is annoyed that yet again, Steve Ducey is interrupting his rants. Steve Ducey clearly is getting a little bit irritated that his co-host Brian Kilmeade is constantly saying insane things. I'm going to go. Well, that's insane because if it was fentanyl with cocaine, that would be because the dealer had done that, which is happening a lot in America. As you just said, I didn't know De Niro's grandson died of it. I believe Coolio died of the same thing. It's you know it's in everything now. Fentanyl's in. They're putting it in every drug, all drugs. You only have to have a little bit of it. You don't know you're taking it. It's killing people unintentionally. So if it was in there to be unintentional, it's a stupid thing for that guy to say. Back. I agree with you, Pac-Man. It's a stupid, antagonistical thing for that guy. Brian Kilmeade or whatever his name is to say. I agree, Pac-Man. Me and you, man, we're not too dissimilar, dissimilar are we? We agree with 0.5% of the things. We're only 10 seconds in. Let's play it from the beginning. And again, Kilmeade visibly annoyed that Ducey is like, what are you talking about, dude? We don't know if there's fentanyl in that cocaine, too. That's the problem. Uh, yeah. You saw that uh, Robert De Niro's grandson just died. Uh, fentanyl was in whatever substance he Wait, bought. at the White House? Fentanyl at the White House? No, so he's saying with the unknown powder that, you know, saying don't that know what's in it. They, they don't know what's in it. He thought he was buying one drug, fentanyl was in it. Do we know that fentanyl's in this cocaine? I, it's I, it well, that's not the buyer didn't mean to buy fentanyl. That's not mean he's a fentanyl addict. Stupid thing to say, 100%. David Pacman, 100%. You hit the nail on the head in this video, buddy. Yes. I mean, to the point of Weisha Jang. Weisha Jang at CBS said this could have been a non-magnetic powder that could have made it through anthrax. This is a huge national security threat in the press, so they're just slapping it off. But what would you expect? I, I hate to tell people. Like, I really do. But, you know, it non-magnetic powder. Yeah, it's okay. It's a threat. You do They do tours at the White House. I mean... It, are are we really, what's the expectation, right? When Kaylee McEnany says this is a big national security threat and it starts to be uh, uh, sort of an attack on security measures at the White House, if you have a few grains of one of these non-magnetic magnetic powders in the bottom of a pocket, It'll go off. Um, no one's going to find that. No one, you can get wanded with a metal detector and you can get a pat down and you can answer a questionnaire. I mean, a few grains of this stuff is gonna be very difficult to find. It's not unique to Joe Biden. It's not a particular failure of security under the Biden administration or any of these things, but- the That could be debatable, but anyway. Look on Steve Ducey's face is really something else there. Um, okay, I think we've said everything we have to say about Biden and uh, cocaine at the White House. I yeah, man, I'm over it too. It's fucking whatever it's there, it's there. If you've got a suspect for it, bring it out. Look at Pacman's head there. <laughs> the dude looks like he's on some fentanyl himself. Um, yeah, man, we're sick of hearing it too here at the Brandon Green Show. And um, if you've got a suspect for it, Hunter, that'll be interesting. But until then... It's just nothing, mate. It's a nothing burger.